children, how are you? And welcome to Monty's Marvellous Maths with me, Mrs Chapman. Oh, goodness me. Do you know, Monty has just had a bath because he was in the garden and he was absolutely covered in mud. It's very muddy at the moment. We've had lots of rain and he was covered. So he's now had a not... Sorry, you waving. Oh, there he is. Hello. Look at you. Oh, you oh, you smell nice. I was just telling the children how muddy you got in the garden, didn't you? Yeah. Oh, what bubble bath have you used? Lemon. Actually, yes, I can smell the lemon. Oh, love it. And you're nice. You're a bit wet, mind you. But does that feel better than being covered in mud? No. <laughs> I think he likes being covered in mud and horrible, yucky things, don't you? Oh, you're looking at the birds on the wall. Do you remember the song that we were learning? Yeah? Shall we sing it? Yeah? Okay, so we've got... Children, can you see what song we've been singing? We've got a wall here, and on top of the wall we've got two little dicky birds, haven't we? Yeah, look at them. Shall we sing that song? Yeah, ready? Two little dicky birds sitting on a wall One named Peter, the other named Paul Fly away, Peter Where are you going? No, he's coming back Fly away, Paul It's alright, he's going to come back Come back, Peter and come back, Paul. There we are. There they are. Do you remember that song? Did you sing along with us? You can do that on your own, children. You can use sort of fingers, can't you? One little dicky bird and then another dicky bird flying away. Okay, so we're going to play a game because today we're going to be learning positioning. So about position and that's where to put things, yeah? Um... Or deciding where things are so you are going to give me an instruction as to where to put one of the birds and then I'm going to give you an instruction yes yeah you got it so do you want to go first okay so you're going to tell me where to put let's say Peter okay no no oh, right he's just said can I put Peter in the garden no that's not what I meant. You can't put Peter in the garden because then he's gone now and the children can't see him. OK, it's got to be around the wall. OK, somewhere. Do you get it? OK, all right, shall we try again? Oh, you do smell nice. OK, ready? Oh, that's better. OK, so he's instructed me to put... Uh, Peter in front of the wall that is a really good instruction so I'm going to take Peter off and he's going to flow fly 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 and I'm going to put him in front of the wall can you see can you see the word in front yeah there he is so Peter is in front of the wall children can you say that with me ready Peter is in front of the wall good well done let's Fly back, Peter. Let's put him back on there. Okay, now I'm going to give you an instruction, yes? Monty, can you put Paul behind the wall? Yeah? Okay. Ready? Do you want me to get him down for you? Okay. Are you going to pick him up? Oh, oh you're going to do it with your mouth, are you? Mind him. Okay, so he's going behind <laughs> yeah good boy he has gone behind we can't see him now he is behind the wall so children can you say that paul is behind the wall ready paul is, <laughs> is behind the wall good let's put paul back up there with peter okay so now you're going to give me another instruction ready yeah, I can do that. OK, so Monty has asked me whether I can put Peter beside the wall. That is a really good one. I'm impressed with you. <laughs> well done. Right. So Peter, very carefully, he's flying. 
and I'm going to put him there we are beside the wall so he's on the side of the wall and actually I could have put him that side because he's still beside the wall yeah so children could you say Peter is beside the wall are you ready good let's put Peter back up there right okay shall I give you an instruction now um this is a difficult one and I'm just going to see if you can work out how to do it okay can you put Peter underneath Paul <laughs> yeah I know okay so who's got to go underneath Okay, right, so Peter, well look, put him, where should we put him? Put him, do you want to hold him? Okay, now Paul, he's got to be underneath. So then he goes on top. <laughs> so Peter's underneath and Paul is on top. Oh my gosh, that's a bit of a whoop, whoop. We dropped them. A bit of a weird one, wasn't it? <laughs> okay. Okay, so the birds are back on the wall. Okay. Can you can you take them off the wall? I, I mean, I suppose we've finished now, haven't we? Do you want to take them off? Careful. No! Monty! You've just knocked the whole wall down. It's not funny. Oh, right, let's tidy up. It's always something goes wrong, doesn't it? Have you? You've got... Oh, he says he's got his tractor with him and he can do some positioning with his tractor. Actually, Monty, I know you smell nice, but there's a very odd smell. Can you smell something that's really... Oof. No, you can't smell it. I can smell your lovely lemony smell, but there's also another very strange. Can you smell dog food, cat food? No? Okay. Anyway, where's your tractor activity? Should we bring it in? I'm sure I can smell something like cat food. Oh, hang on. What's coming in? Oh, what's this? It's your, oh no, not mud. It's not mud. Monty, that's cat food. Oh, Monty, I knew I could smell cat food. <sighs> Why have you got cat food? Because it looks really good. It looks like mud. It does look like mud and it smells awful, actually. And not unless you're a cat. What have you got here? You've got your tractor. Oh, Monty. Right, so what have you been doing? This is what you've been doing, is it? Right, listen, you can do this, you can show the children what you've been doing, but you are not to get dirty. You are not to get cat food on you. Do you understand? Yes, you sure? You understand? Oh, okay, so tell us what you've been doing. Okay, yeah, okay, I can do that. He said, can I give him instructions as to right, what to do? So your tractor... Can you park your tractor behind a we, what we're pretending it's mud, okay, on a farm, yes? Can you put your tractor behind the mud pile? Are you ready? Shall we see what he does? He's got his tractor. Oh, look at that. Well done, you. The tractor is behind the smelly mud pile, isn't it? <laughs> the cat food. Okay, next instruction. You ready? Okay, you ready? You're listening? Can you put your tractor in front of the mud pile? Yeah, you can do that. Are you ready? Oh, gosh. Oh, it's fallen over. Let's pick it up. Yes, it is. Oh, my God. Oh, I've got cat food on my fingers now. Well done. Your tractor is in front of your mud pile. Children, if you could smell this, I think it's probably fish cat food. Oh, no, you can't eat it. Oh, no, no, you can't eat it. It's for the cat. Okay, next instruction. Can you put 
the tractor beside the mud pile. Yeah, are you ready? No, don't lean over it. Don't, oh, you're going to get it. You, oh, you, you just had a, look, you've got a bit of cat food there. Ooh. Right, well done. You have put the tractor beside the mud pile. Okay. Can you put the tractor on top of the mud pile? On top. Are you ready? Good boy. The tractor is on top. Ooh, look at that. I think that's it. I can't think of any others. Can you? I don't know how you can do that. He said, can, we, can you put the tractor underneath? I don't see how you can do it. You, you, we can't get underneath. You can. I don't think we can. Sorry? Just watch. What, what do you, what do you, no, what are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, no. <sighs> what have you done? You, you're putting the cat food on top of the tractor so it's underneath. Yeah, but look at your face. Look at it. It's not, no. You do it. Oh, children. I knew, I knew it. I knew it would happen like this. Look at you. Look at your face again. <sighs> it's back in the bath, isn't it? You're going to go into the bath. Oh, you smell terrible now. Pardon? No! Oh, no, 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 no. It's just give me a kiss. It's just give me a kiss. I think I need a shower now. You just covered my face in cat food. Oh, okay. Right, children, I think it's time to go now. <laughs> oh, it smells. Um, right. <laughs> I try and talk through this smell and cat food on my face. Um, maybe you can uh, do some positioning in the classroom or at home. So just for example, you could get a chair and find a partner and maybe your partner could give you instructions like, can you sit on the chair can you stand behind the chair can you go underneath the chair or beside the chair or you could have like like monty has you can have like cars outside can you put the car on the garage underneath the garage and things like that don't forget though to tell your teachers or to tell your mums at home because it's really important that we can see that you're doing that and that you understand positioning yeah and they'll be really pleased with you. What do you do? No, you're not eating. No, Monty, no! No! Is that nice? Oh, I think it's time to go, children. I'll see you next time. Take care now. Teachers Bye. and mums and dads, it's Monty and Mrs Chapman here. I just want to say thank you so much for looking at this video and all our videos. But don't forget to like it. OK, give it a thumbs up if you like it and also hit the subscribe button. Um, and if you hit the bell, then we'll send you a reminder every time Monty and I do a new video. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye.